Disney made The Lion King in 1985. These fields remind me of it. Denman Park, West Hill. Birds like fitness equipment. It's the start of September twenty twenty. Actually, September started last week, but it's still near the beginning. Well, the bird's engrossed in the ground. A kid was just climbing on this wall and there's a sharp drop down to water. And it's dark down there. When I first learned to ride my bike, I beat my sister doing it in a quicker time. The stabilizers were hanging half off. This tree has split. You can see the destruction and damage. There's pine cones lying on the ground here. Mice eat them, as do squiggles. Red squiggles are declining in Britain. When trees break, they can leave structures like this one, and they're hard to remove. You need diggers and technology. Deforestation is real. Autumn is starting to emerge on this tree. You can see it starting to turn brown. There's brown bits.
Someone's getting work done from GPH builder merchants. West Hill Gala takes place in this field. This field backs onto Trinity Church in the Ashdale Hall. People should pick up their litter. Littering can be a problem. It can be difficult to cross Hayes Way for all the traffic. Teachers. Gather size is on at the Ashdale Hall. It's an exercise class. But look at all the cars that are needed in order to exercise. You can see the emergence of autumn. You need to shout over traffic. This cow is chewing. It's enjoying its food. It obviously has a mouthful of grass. Be quiet. Shushed. It's the 10th of September and this tree is really orange now.
Those cars have their lights on. It's a dull day in September. I'm entering the dreamland of Aberdeen. When the football stadium was in the centre of town at Pataudry, footballers could walk, but now they take cars. Look at them all. Congestion will be real when the stadium gets built. This will cause trouble for West Hill. This cycle path reaches the football stadium. Residents in West Hill that attend football matches should cycle on bikes when football's played in the summer. But I think football's played at Christmas time as well, it used to be. These cars should not be allowed on the road. Who drives this one? Grass cutters are needed at the football stadium. With a practice field, it's boosted employment for low skilled workers. I could cut grass. That's a job I could do. Aberdeen City Council do with those green things around the trees when the trees grow big? Will they dispose of them? Or will they reuse them? Look at the traffic! Lorries, cars, motorbikes! You can hardly hear yourself!
woman waste energy with bright flashing lights. The lights are unnecessary in daylight. Marks and Spencer are having a job getting through the single line of traffic. The lorry just missed hitting the sign. The sign that says new traffic signals ahead is not clear. It's too close together. This poses a problem for disabled drivers. Pony and a bird. And a wheelbarrow. You find the oddest things in the countryside. In the King's Wells countryside. <laughs> countryside fields are a safe haven for birds. But there's little food. This birdie is looking for food. This cottage in the countryside in King's Wales has solar panels. equipment to work. And can block roads. New Holland equipment used by farmers in Scotland. The breeze got up. A cool breeze. Scotland can have narrow country lanes. These people that live here will overlook a football stadium and be disrupted in the morning. So a week, no, they'll be playing in the evening, so they might not get to sleep. People that live with children. And these houses are not that small. This one's quite long children living. And they could get disrupted sleep for going to school. Steps leading down to a stream. The gas pipeline runs through here or nearby. of the countryside beside the birds and someone's left dog poo.
This is the mains of Kinmundi. It used to be a farm shop up here in the early 90s, but it closed. People go to all day in Tesco instead of going to farm shops and buying local produce. This is a problem the world faces. Farm shops were better, run by small families. This is a nice view of West Hill, of Lawsondale, from a distance. And the countryside, the surrounding countryside. West Hill is enshrined in countryside. Quiet country roads, but it's getting wider as we enter West Hill. And the speed limit's 30. This could be the Undertaker's house with three black cars. Blue flame are cheaper than British gas and based locally. don't have much grass, you can use tubs to brighten up the place. Every little helps, that's the saying of Tesco. The sky is all blue today. The hills and countryside are in the distance. The cows are marching up to the water trough. It's early on Saturday morning and they're obviously thirsty. The water trough's up there. No, they're just walking around the field. Cows do exercise as well as eat, graze, and stand still.
cows are queuing up to drink. They're at their trough. They're all, and now they're coming back down. They were drinking. Cows go moo sometimes. Other times they grunt. It's a harsh moo. Cows walk slowly. sunshine. With blue sky in the background. These two trees are forming an intercontinental bridge. In West Hill. Dogs are calling. There's a combination of green and brown leaves on this tree. There aren't many brown ones. There's a mix, mostly green. There's a flock of seagulls in the West Hill Academy playing fields. West Hill is quieter on Sunday. There's no teachers at the school. And the road is quiet. Look at all the orange and brown leaves on the ground. This tree is shedding its leaves. There's nowhere to lock bikes at the BP petrol station. This is all there is. A limited space. One rail.
The Bridges Preschool Nursery. Space is available. 900 hours of free childcare. Call now on 01224 744 741. With your children going back to school, now is the time to put them into nursery. Children are important. They're the future. The Premier Inn is now offering takeaway. Call or visit. Look at all the leaves off the trees. And yet, if you look up, the trees still have leaves. Green ones, they're not brown. So why are there brown leaves on the ground? This is baffling. I can't understand it. I smell fumes, car fumes passing all day. It's disgusting. I think there's cows in the distance. But they're too far away. This is what a cow looks like face on. It's, this cow is chewing. These trees are like Christmas trees. And it's September in West Hill. Cars can go fast on country roads. The curtain of Skeen is in the distance. Cars give cyclists a wide berth when you wear a fluorescent jacket. This is the importance of fluorescent jackets and cycle helmets to safety. And I'm at the side of the road. I'm not on the road. People in West Hill and Skeen area can be considerate. This is a dead animal. I don't know what it is. People should jog towards oncoming traffic. What's in this field? I don't know what the black one is. It looks like a horse. I don't think it's a cow. Is that a sheep I see, the white one? I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter if you're black and white. Black or white. Horse! It's standing now. West Hills Field can have horses, sheep and cows. So people in the West Hill area should eat things from cows and sheep. Because that's 
with roads here. This is what living off the land means. People the world over eat animals and vegetables and fruit. As well as overindulging in things that come wrapped in plastic from Tesco and Aldi. We need to cut down on plastic. And eat off the land. I missed filming a bird earlier today on the cycle path. I got too close to it and it flew away. But this one is slightly further away. With optical zoom we can zoom in and get closer to birds without disrupting them. Cycling uphill can be challenging and following the bird as it flies away. But I'm getting better at cycling uphill by persisting. People should persist in Scotland with cycling. It can be challenging going uphill, but rewarding. You get to view animals in the countryside, trees, bushes, plants, and telegraph poles. Electricity is important. At this junction, there was a bird in the middle of the road. That's why animals get killed on country roads. Just look at the speed of that car. People drive far, far too fast. It gave me a wide berth. People respect each other, but they don't respect animals. People pay wildlife organisations to look after animals. They think looking after animals is someone else's problem. But everyone has a responsibility. Facing north, and I can see wind turbines in the distance. I didn't notice them last time I came this way. But there's wind turbines in the west as well, and the east. West Hill is surrounded in countryside and wind turbines. It's a sustainable town. With shared pedestrian and cycle paths, accessible to disabled people. The farmer has been busy again. My mum has a sign in her car that says, Police help. I wonder what would happen if I wore it on my back when cycling. Would anyone bother to phone the police? It could be useful if you break down cycling and break your leg. I was at primary school. John Major was Prime Minister. He tried to liberate Iraq. But under him I watched black and white television. And when I was a kid, I called a little black boy, little black Sambo. That's because I used to watch black and white television as a kid. I also watched colour, but the programmes at school in Scotland were black and white. I used to think people decades earlier lived in black and white, but people have seen colour for thousands of years. The fields are green. The sky is grey. Overcast. Global warming is real. Temperatures are getting warmer. This is September and I'm still on my bike. I don't need gloves yet. Mother Nature has wrecked havoc in the West Hill countryside. Just look at these fallen branches. People cycling on country roads take life into their own hands. What with traffic, speeding traffic, 
and fallen branches. Trees can come down. This one is massive. There was a flock of birds in a field. They're on this tree now. I just missed them. They flew away too quickly. But they were on this field where there's bales of hay. So obviously they can get food here. Farmers help birds. So important. Farmers are important people in Scotland today in helping birds get food. This looks like foam at the side of the road. It's something white. I don't know what it is. No, it looks like cotton wool. It's on this branch here. You can see it hanging off. I don't know what it is, I'm not going to touch it. Grass verges can get contaminated. Two cars just missed each other here. This is how accidents happen on country roads. The roads are too narrow, cars go too fast. But they do give bikes a wide berth. Welcome to Multicultural Scotland with Asian coloured cows. You get white, black and Asian coloured ones in Scotland. Scotland is a welcoming country to foreigners. It welcomes them with open arms. These cows are really close to me. But you can only get, you can get so much of cows and then they get boring. Oh, they're starting to moo. They're make, starting to make noises. This one's getting up. It's... This is the noise cows make. A bird has got killed! This is why they are declining in Britain and Scotland and the world. It's because everyone drives far too fast. Just look at this car. It did slow down for me though. I've never been this close to a bale of hay before. Most of the ones in this field are far away. This is the edge of West Hill, surrounded in trees. You can't see it. You don't you notice trees when you go uphill. You notice trees when you go uphill to the golf course. You can hardly see houses for the trees. Once again, I should reiterate, West Hill is a garden suburb built in a valley, surrounded by countryside and wind turbines. You shouldn't pick berries in Scotland because they can be poisonous. People should eat strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. Gooseberries. You need to be careful what you eat and pick. Not every bush contains edible fruits or berries.
But baggies are good for people. The birds and the cows are mingling together in this West Hill field. Birds and cows can live together in harmony. Motorbikes go fast through the curtain of skiing. These are Jubilee cottages. The curtain of screen has a village shop providing I don't know what it provides because I've never been in it. But it provides groceries to the people of the curtain of skiing. This is the overflow graveyard at the Kirkton of Skeen. The Kirkton of Skeen has two graveyards in small villages. Small villages are away from the crematorium in Aberdeen. So people get buried. It takes up space in graveyards being buried. You can see the hills in the distance on this September evening. The sun's behind a cloud. This is our field just past the Kirkton of Skeen on the way to the Kirkton of Skeen school which is at the end of the road. The field is flooded and it's not in good condition either, it's a bit muddy. Countryside schools such as Skeen have sheep. They provide an enriching educational experience to children teaching them about animals. But the traffic, it's a busy road this one. It goes to the line of skiing and you can go across to Kintour. This looks like an abandoned church building. It's just opposite the lock of skiing. And here's a sign belonging to Scottish Water. Scottish Water signs are in a state of disrepair. This is the blacksmiths. They make handrails. They make handrails from steel. Steel is important in bridge construction the world over. In the distance is the Lock of Skeen, surrounded by trees. Trees and water is needed the world over. All great cities and towns have water. West Hill has no rivers, but nearby is the Lock of Skeen. Water is needed to put out fires. 
in California just now, fires are blazing. And Donald Trump has denied climate change. He says it's bad forestry. Look at the trees. This is the main road that runs to Afford. Sheep get uninterrupted by traffic. They keep grazing. This is evidence that sheep can live alongside traffic in towns and cities. Sheep are in fields behind walls and they're safe. Watch as this car passes, what happens to the sheep? The sheep don't move. I don't think buses come this way. It's not a bus stop. I don't know what this is for, but the seats. And it's next to a sign for broadband saying, let's get on. BT Broadband Fiber Broadband is here. Fiber Broadband's at Skeen, West Hill and Aberdeen and everywhere. Fiber broadband's taking over the world. I pity the people that live in this house with the speeding traffic. How speeding traffic can destabilize houses, leading them to crumble. The road that leads up to the Kirkton of Skeen from the road that leads to Afford is surrounding trees. Trees can make roads dark in winter and give people difficulty driving. It's challenging cycling uphill. You can get out of breath but I keep persisting. Cars drive on the wrong side of the road to overtake bikes, but giving bikes a wide berth is important. Bikes can be unstable. People can fall off. Cycling along country roads can be dangerous. Cars go too fast. They need to slow down. There are birds flying in this field. Or above it as I arrived. But birds fly quickly. Capturing them on video can be challenging. Cameramen are important. Fields of gold. I don't know what what the gold is. But they're important in providing food to, for birds. It looks as if there's a fire in the distance. But I think it's the sun setting. It's a great sight. Is it a forest fire? I'm back in the quiet surroundings of the Kirkton of Skeen. I nearly got hit by a lorry crossing the Afford Road to film the Lock of Skeen. But I crossed quickly. This is the importance of bikes. Bikes give people speed and agility. Walking along country roads is fraught with danger. It is highly dangerous. The Afford Road between Aberdeen and Afford is dangerous with lorries that take up the full length of the lane of the road.